Hey guys, what is going on? My name is NoJ456, and today I've got a brand new DLC video for the Update 1.17 DLC. This is my first video of the day, and I'm super, super excited to bring you guys all these different videos, showing you everything that was included in this update. And first off, we have the Lampadidi Ferrari GT. I swear that's how it sounds, Ferrari. And if you guys have any different pronunciations, let me know in the comment section down below. But this is what it looks like right here. As you can see, I'm going to be trying everything out in single player before I go over to multiplayer, simply because it's a whole lot cheaper. And you, uh, obviously, if you take a look at my bank balance, on this game I have like two billion dollars on the uh, on the single player characters so it's a very very it's a very very worth it to try it out on single player characters before spending GT online money which can like basically be converted to real money because I, I don't know about you guys but if I bought everything in this update I would have to spend some real money so let's go ahead and uh, before we go into the garage actually let's go ahead and take a look at what it looks like on the internet so going into the internet on multiplayer so you guys can see everything and all the stats and the description everything go ahead and go to legendary motorsports and as you can see right right here the Ferrari GT the part of the last team standing update you can go and click on it and obviously here are all the different colors it has a 4 liter engine 280 horsepower 155 mile per hour top speed 0 to 60 in 5 seconds and it's going to run you 448 thousand dollars this is a very very expensive little little sports car and if you go and compare it to something like the gesture which is also a sports car it has a 4.0 liter v6 420 horsepower which is funny rockstar 420 horsepower it has a top speed of 180 miles per hour and 0 to 60 and 4.5 seconds and it's about half the price it's very very cheap to get this one in comparison to the Ferrari GT and obviously this is the only kind of like sporty type looking car that we got out of this update it's the only car that we got out of this update so, uh, I mean, if you if you want to kind of like have a collector's edition of all the different cars, like the best cars, the Croquette Classic, everything from all the recent DLCs, you'll definitely want to get this one. However, uh, just looking at it from a per pure performance standpoint, it is not very fast. However, it does look very, very cool, so you can go and balance that. But let's go ahead and cut back over to single player. But cutting back over to single player, let's go ahead and go inside the garage here. So loading up. Dun, dun, dun. Here's what it looks like. It's a GTA sports car. This is not a supercar or anything like this. Let's go ahead and take a look. We're going to put our armor on 100% street brakes. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do engine level 4 horn. There are no new horns in this update, unfortunately. The lights, xenon lights, plate, uh, plate respay. We're going to go ahead and skip those. Suspension, you can obviously lower this down to competition, so it looks pretty nice like that. The transmission, obviously, it can go to race. Turbo, turn on the turbo. That's not even a question. Wheels, there's the general wheels, and that is what that is that is it for this car that's right there's no other co customization for this car obviously you can go through and make it look pretty darn cool i honestly i do believe this is one of the better looking cars that we've gotten in an update however it is just not a very customizable car usually we're like used to seeing a whole bunch of awesome stuff added on to this car and uh basically like a roll cage different things to be added on maybe something kind of like special maybe like a trailer hook or something like that but honestly there's absolutely nothing to be upgraded on this car i just kind of like pick those colors out of nowhere but uh it does look very very nice however it is worth 400k over 400k in gt online money so i guess you can decide for yourself if this is going to be worth it but honestly this is a very 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 expensive car and if you guys do end up buying this let me know in the comment section down below because uh it, for for what it is for what it is a sports car uh you're definitely not going to be buying this for its performance it does end up going pretty fast i'm gonna go ahead and speed up here try not to crash into anything and already fail on that but as you can see it's not the fastest car it is definitely a quick little thing but uh it's not it's definitely not a supercar or anything like that so let me know in the comment section down below if you guys are going to be buying this let me know what you think about the car and how you think it looks and anyway that's my first dlc video we're going to go ahead and get into some other ones i'm going to do a video over everything later on today so if you just want to stay tuned for that i'm going to basically upload everything that is appearing in this update so anyway guys my name is noj456 thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video